that be that way or that way I think that way but then that's in the way I'll tell you what else is in the way not these they're meant to be here welcome to episode um, I believe it's episode 27 of Chinese spaghetti reviews um, we're not reviewing you we could review you you know, I was I searched Chinese spaghetti or well, I guess like instant ramen on so Wikipedia, and um, uh, I think it described uh, uh, Kabuto noodles as the UK's first like gourmet noodle startup. I think Wikipedia described it as. Um, I, I'm skeptical of this. I just just feeling this. It's a plastic and cardboard thing. You know, it kind of reminds me of the naked noodles. That's kind of kind of like a plastic and cardboard thing, which I'm I'm not a fan of. Um, but uh, we'll we'll see, we'll see. But then again, pot noodle has the the greatest construction of any instant noodle that I've ever seen, and they are well. The less said about them, the better, I would say. Uh, they're shit, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try these. We're gonna try the Kabuto noodles miso ramen. I actually have some some miso paste uh, that I've acquired, and I I have been um, trying it. It's really quite delicious. Um, so I have something to compare this against. Foil lid, very easy to take off. That gets points right away. They've got a little nest of egg noodles, and does this? Oh, that smells of miso. Definitely. Oh, oh. Okay, all the powder's already in there. I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh dear, this is this is bad. Hold on, I'll just shine. I've scraped most of it back in. So, yeah, we do. <laughs> so, it's definitely, it smells of miso. Miso's like a, a bean paste. Should I read the instructions? Uh, uh, egg. True eco warriors always recycle and throw this into the duck pond when I'm done with this. Uh, what do we have? There's some text. I'll filter this line. Really? That's like very high up. I'll, I'll give it a tiny, tiny bit more, I think. But no more than that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to... Let me cover where's the... Th there, we, there we go. I forgot what hand I meant to hold this with. So, um, this is very hot. Without knowledge of noodles, one will ultimately have no military victory. That's, uh, the, the, the British Army was founded on pot noodles. We all know that. Uh, let's see. Ow. Ow, this is actually quite scalding. Kabuto noodles are prepared with skill, dedication and discipline to bring you delicious, authentic Asian flavours using only quality ingredients. Remove lid to fill line with boiling water. Replace lid loosely and wait for it four minutes. Your opportunity to meditate or perhaps your karate. Stir well, leave for one minute. Enjoy noodle soup or straight from pot or pulled into bowl. If no bowl available, try upside down helmet. I do have uh, some hats I could pour this into. Um, oh, I don't have that drink. I used to have like a drinking hat. Uh, had like first aid written on it. It was my favorite hat. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna use that one. Instead, we're gonna leave this. I think we'll try it out to the 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 pot. Uh, if and then maybe out to the bowl if uh, if I'm feeling it. So uh, I'll catch you in a couple of minutes when this is become nice. And and soupy and, and mixed together and delicious. So I'll see you very soon. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at that. One for me. Yeah, these look good. <laughs> these are actually quite long noodles. Uh, they're not like. I don't know how they've how they've made these. Cause normally you get the instant noodles and they've they've been fried or something to retain it, but these are kind of like weird and floppy. Uh, but they, they really stick together. Look at that. I'm gonna struggle to actually eat these. I just want to get. I just want a few. <laughs> I can do that actually. I think. Hold on. 
There we go. Okay. So this is the uh, Kabuto Miso Ramen. Uh, here we go. Mm. They're actually not terrible. <laughs> They've got quite a nice texture. It's not like the East Asian ones you get, but damn sight better than things we had, uh, not last week, the week before. Uh, those naked noodles, they were awful. Mm. I'll try a bit of the broth. Mm. Definitely taste the miso. Um, miso's like a fermented bean paste. I'm going to scrape all that out. I'll, I'll be a minute. Yeah, there we go. I've given this a bit of a thing now. Uh, clean out. So yeah, miso is like a fermented bean paste. It tastes of not like baked beans. Um, or the uh the the, the bean and cheese uh, melt from uh from Greg's. Uh, this is more like uh an oriental bean flavor. It's kind of like um a, a soy sauce. Soy sauce is like fermented soybeans. Uh, similar kind of flavor. Flavor profile is quite pungent, quite quite salty. Uh, main criticism of these, they just they won't separate. I've got like <laughs> way too many here. Uh, I'm just gonna just look, look at that. Oh god, I'm just gonna have to. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> The flavour is honestly not bad. Um, if you didn't know what miso tasted like, you might find this disgusting because it is kind of, kind of weird tasting. So if I went to this not knowing what it's like, um, I'd be a bit disappointed. It needs more salt. They all need more salt. The Chinese ones are just full of salt. These these are not full as much salt. It's like oh, you have to be healthy. You take you have the 239 calories per tub, like, no, no, a thousand calories per, per tub, we want to, this is the only meal I'm feeding to my poor orphan boy in the, uh, <laughs> in the sweatshop tonight, so, you know, this has, this has to last, mm. I don't hate this. I honestly really don't hate this. Um, it's not. It's not spectacular. It's not incredible. The noodles are a bit weird. I, I don't quite quite explain. They're, they're egg noodles, which are not the best. Uh, but I've had much worse egg noodles. Like actually, out of all the egg noodles ones, these are are probably the best. These are probably the best that I've had. I'm gonna. Ugh. Uh, the miso, I don't think I'm a fan of miso. I think it's good when mixed with other stuff, but it shouldn't be the, the star of the show. I think miso should just be one of the components that you use in your uh, your noodle making thing. I should make this so you can actually see it. Um, But yeah, honestly, it's uh, it's fine. Um, for one made for the UK market, I need to specify this is. I believe this is made for the UK market. So automatically, I know it's going to be shit. But this isn't bad. This is not bad. I'm gonna drink a bit more of the soup, a bit more of the the broth, beer out of there. Yeah, it's like all I can taste is miso. I think there's some parsley. I can taste garlic. It's definitely garlic. What else is in here? Um, let's see. Uh, calcium, salt, sugar, soy, soybeans, fermented soy miso. 
A jelly garlic spinach sea seaweed. Ah, that's what that is. Some seaweed. Okay, so it's a bit it's a bit more interesting than uh some of the some of the others we tried. But does that make it good? Uh yeah, yes and no. It's it's fine. It's actually quite nice. I'm actually really enjoying this. Um but I'm not here to enjoy it, I'm here to review it. And these these are a bit weird, but egg noodles are just weird. Uh, I've come to discover. If you're going to get noodles, just get pure wheat noodles. Don't get egg noodles. They're kind of crap. Uh, but out of all the egg noodles I've had, these are actually among the best, I would say. They're kind of chewy. They're kind of nice. They, they're long. They're long. That gets bonus points if they're long. Um, the flavours in the broth, there's... a. Uh, Obviously me, so that's the main thing. But I def definitely taste garlic. Those floaty things, I think, are seaweed, which is kind of cool. It's like you're on the sea, and it's, you're on like the sea of sewage, and there's sort of seaweed and fish floating by. This has gone all in on fish, I reckon. Suck a big piece of fish in this. It'd be quite nice. In fact, this would make probably a quite a good fish stock. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> that's done. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, I'll, I'll just do like. What do I rate this? <laughs> what do I rate this? Um, honestly, not the most disgusting one. It's out of all the ones made for the UK market, I'd say this is up there. They did use egg noodles. I don't, I don't know how hard it is not to use egg noodles. Does the crap? Don't don't use them. Use just wheaty noodles. They're much better. You see those little yellow things like this? They're not good. Don't, don't use them. Um, same with rice noodles. They're, they're just weird and terrible. You use, <clears throat> use something like this. Okay, if, if something like this had the flavour of this, this would be multi, much times better. Like, the flavour in this is great, but just use better noodles. Um, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a 6. 6 out of 10. Um, I enjoyed it. It's above average, definitely. But there are problems with it. It does blow me away. And I've got this stupid fucking look at this. Look at this cardboard thing here with the plastic. Oh, yeah, recycle me. No, like a duck pond. Go in the canal. Don't care. Anyway, that's, uh, that's been Chinese Spaghetti Reviews, episode 27, I think. Um... Yeah, we'll see you in the next next one, um, where we'll review some more delicious Chinese spaghetti. I have been Mr. Chinese Spaghetti Man, and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to need this back to...